Do you like bugs? They're pretty tasty, no? This is Radek from Sense, and we are going to talk about nutrition and food. So we met here to talk about food, and I think drinking is actually uh, a good start because uh, what do we? That's just the two most important things that we put into our body. So, so I guess you don't like to drink Coke. No, not really. Honestly, it doesn't taste very good to me and there's lots of unnecessary bullshit which I think none of us need to drink. I guess water, that's, that's the thing that you would prefer more than Coke. So, so, so what do you drink? I drink a lot of water and, and tea. Also black tea, but also some lots of herbal tea, especially in the evening. I do enjoy that a lot. But I'm quite careful not about what I drink, but also about the temperature. So I'm fond of drinking warm water, actually. Because once you get used to it, it just kind of feels natural to, to drink a water which is at least the same temperature of your body temperature. And once I drink something cold, it's just doesn't feel natural. Like for the body, it costs some energy to kind of process it and warm it up to the body temperature. And I'm actually not drinking cold water, not even summertime. Yeah, I guess that's, 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 the, that's the really the little details that you have to take care of when, when, you, just, when you just focus on the maximal performance. Uh, what about beer? Do you like to drink beer? I mean, beer tastes good but I don't really drink it that much. It's, it's not good for the recovery. It definitely slows down the recovery and I'm, and I'm training hard and I wanna be as fresh as possible for the next day. And even one beer definitely makes a difference. Surprisingly, it might not be that much of a difference if you have one beer the day before the competition. Because at that moment you're already recovered and one beer might help you to be more relaxed. Well, I don't do it anyway, because at the same time, if you drink alcohol, like in the evening, it has some influence on the circadian rhythm, which is the rhythm that influences your sleep. So it might help you to actually fall asleep better, but then the quality of the sleep might be not as good. The sleep won't be as deep as it could be. Okay, so I'll write it down. No, no cold water and no beer. <laughs> yeah, so coming from drinking to food, uh, how important is really diet in your life and in your, in your performance? I think it is very important and I guess every year it's getting more and more important. I think, I mean, I feel young, but in terms of like an athlete, I'm getting older every year and I will be 28 this season and I definitely need to find all the possible tricks and all the available knowledge to, to reach my potential. And diet is definitely a huge part of it. I do believe that really the most important is to have the routine in what you eat. And based on that, also make your training routine. Mm. So I definitely do believe that there's something that is also very important, which is circadian rhythm. And circadian rhythm is not only based on how you're affected by the light, by the sunlight and also by the artificial light that we might be exposed too much, especially during the evenings when we are all staring into the screens and stuff. But it's also affected quite a lot on when and what we eat. I'm definitely not the kind of person that would eat the very same meal every single day. But I know that I want to have certain amount of cereal, certain amount of some kind of protein, some nuts or seeds, some spices, and I just mix it up. What, what do you have for lunch? Lunch is usually really complex food. So I, I take care there are some cereals, some vegetables, some spices and some protein. And when do you say source of protein? Uh, what do you go for? Well, it can be anything. It can be meat, can be dairy product, can be some vegan source of proteins like tofu, tempeh, seitan, can be also eggs. But I'm always trying to have as much variety as possible 
And also at the same time, I'm thinking about how to be as sustainable as possible. And that's why I found recently also cricket protein, which is working really well for me. What do you have for dinner? Well, usually I would have vegetables and source of proteins. If I have some source of carbohydrates like cereals, it's a very small por portion. I think that is quite important for me. Okay, so throughout the day you're trying to take, you're trying to eat less carbs. And Let's say the biggest amount of carbohydrates I eat for breakfast, then it's lunch, and towards the afternoon I reduce the carbohydrates. And for the for the dinner, it's usually only vegetables and source of protein. Mm -hmm. And vegetables, it's better to eat the green ones or white ones, because the colorful ones usually have more carbo carbohydrates. I definitely love like pumpkin or yeah, beetroot, yeah. but I would usually eat it more for the lunch than, than dinner. What do you supplement? Do you, do you do supplements or not? Very little. I try to get as much as possible just by the real food. I don't think supplements are bad, but I think if you really take enough care by eating very well, you can get everything that you need from the food.